In this video, we're looking at controlling speed and stopping on downhill slopes using the plough, the stepping plough and the T-stop. We're going to use real students and a real downhill slope in Brighton. Here is Chris and you can see that he is not decelerating on this slope, so his plough stop isn't quite wide enough to stop him yet. He tries his T-stop but he can't hold it long enough and it starts to spin. He finally stops with his spin stop. Starting slower next time allows him to use his new stepping plough stop, which works. Here we have Ian learning the stepping plough stop by using just one leg to repeatedly step into the inverted V position. This then evolves into two steps on each side and finally into alternating plough steps to stop. This is a good way to learn, even if you're on a slight slope. Let's look at Ian's T-slides. Whoops, did you see that little loss of balance? Let's see it again. He's just not secure enough on that front knee in the T. But his wide plough does decelerate him and the stepping plough at the end works brilliantly. Here's Kat's downhill plough. It's nice and wide, knees are bent with good inside edges and she stops. Now she's using the plough stop first to reduce her speed before then using the stepping plough to stop. The stepping plough can also be used to just control speed and not accelerate. And finally, check out Kat's beautiful consecutive T-slides, which with that frozen front knee on a centre edge, allow her to not accelerate on the slope and to stop easily. So here's my downhill plough and I'm using it first to control my speed and to make sure that I am not accelerating down the slope. Notice the wide stance, the good knee bend and the inside edges and the upright body position. All of this means I can then do the stepping plough to stop at the end. Some people think the stepping plough doesn't look cool, but I think if it functions well and controls your speed on a downhill slope, that's cool enough. Notice how I increase the intensity and tempo of the steps at the end to stop. Do you need help with your stopping methods? Check out the new Stops and Slides online course from Skatefresh and choose which methods you need from this list. The heel brake stop, the stepping plough, the T-stop, the lunge turn stop and the power slide done in four ways. Click the link below for more info.